Have you ever noticed the tanks on this map are really small? Like this truck is bigger than the tanks. I wouldn't care about that if they didn't have us literally just roll up on a normal sized tank. Hey, I'm KK Swayze and today we're playing on that tiny tank map, Garrison, brought to you by Hot Wheels. We're going 37 and 17 with the AK-47 and let me just say, I, I'm not going to talk about the tanks this whole entire gameplay. That's just a little bit of poking fun at this, but I got to talk about the, the camping and spawn killing in this map. It is out of proportion. It is like Space Jam out of this world level of just ridiculousness. Now, first off, I like the I like the idea of the map is to kind of make it really kind of hectic, but at the same time, kind of try to have a general flow to the map. But let me tell you, man, this is not progressive. There isn't a flow in this. It's just it's just either like I said, either spawn killing or camping. It usually a mix of both, and you kind of have to play this game uh, for for a few minutes at least every time you're on this map before you figure out exactly what that other team is doing and I, like I said I like this map but man it, it's getting bad everything I'm doing in this game just know I'm basically having to check spawns or camping spots like that's all I'm doing checking camping spots checking camping spots oh can I get to their spawn nope well let me go back and check some camping spots the flanks are nice, but this just, dang. Like even this one right here, a uh, perfect camping spot for somebody. Gotta check that as I go around the corner. If I stay here too long, what am I doing camping? Do you want that in your gameplay? Nah, but is that the most effective way to get some kills? Well, yeah, you tell me. My KD ratio is raising up in my camping, probably. Like even this, I'm trying to get in their spawn, you know, doing a little, doing a little spawn camping, that's, that's good in Call of Duty. But if I try to get a little too creative with it, you know what I'm saying? Get out of my little space, uh, my little safe space. Guess what happens? Bam! I get smacked down right there. Ain't no chance. So what do I do? Go back. Let's see. Let's check some spawns. Let's check some 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 camping spots. Oh, somebody's getting the spawn on me. Well, might as well do my little little sweaty thing. Jump up there and I gotta get that guy from a camping spot. Let me just try to run in here and grab this guy with this little noob tube grenade launcher. Which I gotta say, it only works if you hit a direct shot and I wish they would be a little bit more lenient on it. I know, I know they buffed the explosion. Well, they nerfed Flak Jacket, I guess, but they didn't really buff the explosion. And that is, I don't even know what I was doing in this game. Still trying to test it out, but yeah, I'm having a bad time with that. Once again, I'm going to go over here, check a camping spot. Now, as you probably already are aware, I'm using the AK-47. That's a great gun, but at the end of the day, man... It is not meta enough. I need to be running around with that MP5 and camping or probably just doing what that one guy's doing back there. You see me having a battle with him. Sitting back there and just sniping, trying to get those easy kills. Maybe maybe have a good game and go like 12 and 5. Or maybe maybe like 10 and 4. Heck though, you do that every game. Get that KD up real quick as you see right there. That grenade did not help me out. And I just left wondering why I'm still using this class but that's enough of that with that why am I using the two times scope on this map I got a lot I got bigger problems than that as you can probably tell um, aim is okay but yeah it's it's not all up there in the head anyway what I do like about this map besides the atrocious flanks that can be taken advantage of with camping is it there is a bunch of nice sight lines um, which kind of counteracts that camping and kind of raises the skill gap. Now, sure, there's a lot of broken sight lines that everybody knows about and everybody is camping, but you can really get creative if you run around this map for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You'll find some things that you don't really see people doing a lot. And I'm not doing it too much in here, so, you know, don't take, don't, don't take my word for it, but uh, there is some good stuff going on in this map, which, once again, you compare it to all the other maps we have, I think this one is definitely, it's definitely some people's favorite, but for the, oh man, it's just so many games I've played right there, bam, sniped, what is he doing, he's, he's aiming down that little crevice, maybe he saw me run there, but man, I just had no chance right there, why even try to go past halfway, you know, you, you, you consider that little line in the middle, where that middle tank is, you know, which is about the size of that Hot Wheel car, as we described earlier, you just sit there and you just camp that spawn, but don't camp it too hard, because then you'll expose yourself. You gotta sit maybe like right here, 
turn your back. Or, I like this spot a lot. You can use this spot, but, you know what I'm saying? You go up against a good camper, good sniper. Ooh, he'll be looking at that all day. Heck, he might even be trying to jump shot and get a peek into that spawn. You can do that. But, heck, and, you know, you don't need to camp that hard in this game anyway. You don't need to get extra, extra sweaty with the camping to make it all work. But, like I said, we go 37 and 17 in this game, and a lot of these kills start coming around this back part of the match. And... No help to that grenade launcher, I'll tell you right now. But you'll notice, I have to slow it down. I have to slow it down. Got to peek this, got to peek that. Nope, doesn't even help if I peek it. I peeked it too hard. But once again, another thing about this map is you'll see I get the attack chopper later on. And you're thinking, okay, this is kind of a, a, a map where most of the people are inside. Not really. You see that roof? It's all gone. It's all gone right there. My attack helicopter, they just, they have no chance if they're just sitting in there and camping, which works both ways. It's a small map, so all the kill streaks can pretty much just get everybody anywhere they are. And even if you're running the, um, that one perk that kind of makes sure you don't get targeted by AI score streaks, or even player controlled score streaks. Still though, they just, you know, plop that, plop that cruise missile right in the middle of the map. Chances are they're going to get some kills. But enough about that, enough about that complaining. Um, I keep going back to complaining about this map. Uh, it is a good map, like I said, but dang. Uh, you just got to take that good with the bad. But at the end of the day, it's it's not Miami. And I don't know why people hate Miami, but I can see some problems with that. Uh, and this map generally does have some flow to it, like I said. But dang, man, you, you got you to gotta hope, hope. It is not the sweaty lobbies because this map only brings out the sweatiest of people. I saw some dude, and, and I've done this before too, but some dude was literally running around just quick scoping, but not really, not really, you know, oh, that dude is really good quick scoping. No, he would like do this really tactical, tactical camping, as they call it, where he would be running around to these power positions and then just cutting off angles so quick, so fast. And at the end of the day, that just kind of shows you where this map is at. As more people play it, and as more people get better at this map, it's going to get that much more annoying. This map worked in the beginning because people were running around. There was a little bit to, of, of uh, you know, nice, you know, gameplay to it. But shoot, I'm, I'm guaranteeing this right now. I'm calling it, as they say. This map is going to be awful in about a month and a half. Heck, maybe sometime March. That's what I'm betting. This map is going to be one of the worst maps to play on because people are going to finally figure out all the nice, all the super powerful sidelines, and it's just going to be over. It's going to be uh, this gameplay to the extreme. People are going to be, you're going to forget that sprint button even exists. You're just going to be walking around, cutting off corners, and just wait for somebody for anybody on oh, those proximity mines too you saw i just got those killed off of that <laughs> oh this map is the best for those i if you're not running that on this map you definitely need to you can throw it literally anywhere just you know, you know, throw it in the spawn half the time people aren't even going to see it when they run in because they're just going to be so ready to so ready to just get back to their little camping spot but as you can see, I kind of this is a great this is a great spot right here. If you don't know this, kind of peek around it. Not as I'm doing, I'm doing this terribly. But once again, there's all these different sight lines. Uh, that's another strategy too. You can just take random grenades and just toss them anywhere. Just toss them in this room. God forbid, and God forbid, Lord help you if you run into a guy with a war machine, because then it oh. Whew. You better just sit back in your spawn. You know what? Anytime you do spawn and that happens, you run backwards. I don't care if it's I don't care if you're running out of bounds. Yeah, you don't, you don't get killed by that war machine. Which by the way, they need to nerf that, but they're they're not going to. We all know they're not going to nerf the war machine because that's the only streak that's even worth getting at any point uh, besides cruise missile, but even then it's just it's a crutch. And I say that using it half the time. I don't care. It's a crutch and I use it. But besides that, I'm going I'm to get out of here pretty quick. My time is about up here. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you give that 
a nice thumbs up and subscribe for more trash opinions like this. Uh, we lost the game, but who cares, man? Nobody, nobody cares about winning and losing this game. All I care is about is that little number, that KD that I'm, that I'm getting. 2.18, 2.8, 2, 2, whatever. Doesn't matter, but I'm out of here. And until next time, stay sweaty.